The Department for Work and Pensions DWP, has been conducting a corrections exercise after it identified that since January 31, 2011, some people have made new claims for income support when they should have made a new claim for income-related employment and support allowance ESA. As a result, some of these claimants may have been under or overpaid due to the difference in the amount of money paid for these two benefits. This means that if you made a claim for income support on or after January 31, 2011 due to a disability or health condition, you may be entitled to a special payment. This is because you should have been told to claim income-related ESA instead and you may have received more money. If you are still on income support, and think you may have been affected, you will need to be assessed by the DWP to find out if you should move to income-related ESA. If you are still getting income support you may be entitled to a special payment if both of the following apply, you made a claim for income support on or after January 31, 2011 because of a disability or health condition you were not getting incapacity benefit or severe disablement allowance when you made that income support claim however, it's important to be aware that if you meet these eligibility criteria, you will need to have a work capability assessment WCA to find out how your disability or health condition affects how much you can work. DWP Guidance on the dedicated page on Gov. UK explains, you will only be eligible for a special payment if you are assessed as having limited capability for work or limited capability for work and work-related activity. If you have moved from income support to income-related ESA or universal credit you may be entitled to a special payment if all of the following apply, you made a claim for income support on or after January 31, 2011 because of a disability or health condition you were not getting incapacity benefit or severe disablement allowance when you made that income support claim you had a work capability assessment when you moved from income support to income related ESA or universal credit and you were found to have limited capability for work or limited capability for work and work related activity how to apply DWP guidance explains that you should contact Job Center Plus on 0800 169 0310 and say you are inquiring about the income support claims review exercise. Phone lines are open Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. What happens after you make a claim? You will be told if you need to provide any information to support your application. DWP will compare what you were paid on income support with what you should have been paid on income related ESA. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Under Payments If you would have been paid more on income-related ESA, you will be paid the money you should have received. Over Payments DWP also made it clear that if you got more on income support than you would have got on income-related ESA, you will not have to pay the extra money back. Full details on how to apply for a special payment if you claimed income support because of a disability or health condition can be found on Gov. UK here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.